No team has made more progress in the last half decade than the Grandview Eagles. From no varsity football in 2017 to a winless season the next year and just two wins in 2019, Grandview finally broke through last season with its first winning season since 2001. But Eagles head coach Dave Dallas says his players have made it clear they're not just settling for five wins again. And I think the expectation is a lot higher. You know, what they expect of themselves, what they expect of their teammates, uh, all those things. And just know what we expect from our football program. Is in general, there's a good foundation that's been set, and we've been able to grow and, and build that. Obviously, we're not finished with where we want to go, and but I think there's been a good foundation for it. And it's been to the guys that's been here in the past and started that back way, Ben, that senior group that four years ago or five years ago when we did that. And I think it's been good for our program to build that. And I just, uh, a lot of these guys have been been through that process and seen it grow and you know they see they reap the benefits from that and so I think just you know they're having that uh, that foundation board that we have now. The foundation of the Eagles offense will once again be running back Chase Wilson. The senior led Grandview in both rushing and receiving in 2020 piling up 880 yards from scrimmage and nine touchdowns but he's planning on quite the encore for himself and his team. Uh, obviously in the weight room, uh, getting the legs bigger and probably just mentally getting better, just mentally stronger. We've been uh, definitely talking to the team, hyping them up. Uh, we definitely got a chance at conference and districts. Senior quarterback Clayton Riddle will finally take most of the snaps this season, and he's feeling more comfortable than ever in the role of field general. I've played quarterback for a while now, but the speed's still catching up. Uh, I think also playing a little bit of the tight end from the tight end position, it made me feel see the game from a different angle. I really think it uh, opened my eyes up to what other positions, what they have to go through, and then I was able to see the defense from a different angle and know what the positions do and how they function. Another veteran player that will be a weapon on both sides of the ball is senior running back and linebacker Eric O'Brien. Grandview gave up almost 28 points per game last season, but O'Brien knows they've made major strides. Definitely keeping the touchdowns too minimal. Last year we had a lot of points. Our, the games we lost were huge, huge differences. So I think we swim that down, we have a way better chance. I think our whole mindset going into the year was different. We knew we had a chance, so we t definitely took it and rode it as far as we could. The oldest team Grandview has had in some time is also its hungriest and their head coach is among their biggest believers. Oh yeah, I'm trying to, to keep it excited. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excitable. I'm, uh, and like, if I'm not excited, I probably shouldn't be here. But uh, no, it's, it's, it's exciting times and I'm excited to see what they're able to do week in and week out, you know. I think we have a chance to, to have a you know, successful season, but it's, it's, in the end result, we can't, we can't overlook the, the big picture. We've got to take care of the small picture week by week. And, that's the big thing. I think our expectation for ourselves is a lot higher. Um, and I think that needs to carry over to, to having success against uh, some of the better teams within the conference. The Eagles take flight when they host Principia August 27th to start the new season. Reporting for Regional Radio Sports, I'm Nathan Gertz.